Hello, my brothers and sisters all over the world. I salute you all. My name is Luanzo Nathan Strongman. I'm an artist and a songwriter as well. I am a Mkonzo by tribe, born in Kasese, Uganda, in East Africa. I take this opportunity to thank you so much for being so hardworking, even though the government policies are not favorable towards the jobs and business we are doing. For example, KCCA policies do not favor most of people with low capital to operate their businesses in most parts of Kampala. Mr. Museveni is ready to rule poor Ugandans because he thinks it's easy to rule them. Poor people who cannot even afford what they can't even eat. He failed to sign the bill which was passed through by the parliament concerning the minimum wage of salary supposed to be paid to the people working in foreigners' companies. Mr. Seven does not wish poor Ugandans working in foreigners' companies to earn good money to meet their primary needs. This is my humble advice to the freedom fighters all over Uganda. All opposition leaders in different political parties, for example, FDC, People Power, JEMA, DP, PDP, CP, and the rest of political parties. I kindly beg you to unite together physically, financially, mentally, and at all costs in order to drive out this dictator, Mr. Seven. I am sorry. I can't call him a president because he ordered for the killing of my fellow Bakonzo in our palace in Kasese. The people in the palace were innocent and up to now the government has failed to bring out the clear evidence which shows that the Bakonzo and his emergency Mumbere Ilimangoma are rebels. The Bakonzo in the palace we are only serving Omusinga Mumbere and their kingdom Renzururu, just like what happens in other kingdoms. Many were royal guards in the, our kingdom, and ladies working as cooks, also doing other attacks, helping the king. The guns which were shot on TV stations before by the police in the palace were not there before, but they were brought in by soldiers to black mind Omusinga and his servants with the intention of showing the world that Omusinga and his servant the Bakonzo are rebels. But in actual sense, Bakonzo have no bad intentions towards the government of Uganda. These tricks are always played by security officials in Uganda to blackmail a person. This also happened to Honorable Bobwine, Honorable Zake, and the rest when they were attacked by soldiers in Arua. Guns were brought in Bobwan's rooms by SFC and police shamelessly. Mr. M7 started suspecting Omusinga, Mombere, as soon as Dr. Kiza Vesige visited Omusinga in the palace during the presidential campaigns in 2016. Omusinga Mombere says he began receiving phone calls from NRM leaders asking him as to why he welcomed Dr. Yesiche in the palace. During the campaigns, they thought he was involving himself in politics of Uganda. Dr. Yesiche took himself to the palace to salute His Majesty Omusinga Mumbere, but Omusinga had not called him before. Bakonzo loved welcoming people and that's why Omusinga decided to allow him to enter the palace. Dr. Crispus Kiyonga, the former defense minister, the RDC, and the other NRM leaders, also Museveni himself, were all annoyed of that. People of Kasese were tortured during the presidential and MPs elections. As if that was not enough, the government also decided to attack the palace and killing the Bakonzo in order to hurt Omusinga Mumbere the more. Voters stood at the polling stations 
after casting their votes with the intention of protecting their votes. And this is why Honorable Winikiza and the rest of MPs won election successfully. Mr. Museven and the rest of NRM leaders thought Omusiga is the one who decided or is the one who ordered for the Bakonzo to elect opposition, which was not the case. I remember Omusinga only ordered the Bakonzo to stay peaceful during the elections. It's the police and soldiers who brought in confusion during the elections. People of Kasese have many reasons as to why they don't vote Mr. Museven. For example, Civil Aviation Authority took away hectares of land around Kasese airfield, which had their owners by force without, oh, I think they paid less money for compensation. The money which could not help these people to get another land, to get another land where they can stay. And many people were, were left homeless up to now. How can you expect such a people to love you? This goes to Dr. Yesiki. We love you so much, we are the people of Kasese. And you also know that. But this time around, we kindly request you to step down and unite with the other opposition leaders in Uganda. You cannot defeat Mr. Seven alone. You have tried for four times. This is enough for us to understand. You won Mr. Seven elections. This is well known. But Mr. Seven used other tricks or methods to defeat you through using electoral commission, also using police, judiciary, and the rest. The youth of Kasese and other elders are ready not to follow you. In case you don't unite with Honorable Bobuwen, Honorable Nombati Mao, Honorable Mugisha Mutu, Honorable Asuman, Dr. Abed Wanika, and the rest of, of opposition leaders. The immediate cause of Museven ordering the attack of palace, the attack of our palace, in Kasese was because of you visiting the palace during the presidential campaigns. This is well known. He was annoyed because he was defeated by elections in Kasese. Dr. Biesje was not allowed to enter the court when Omu Singamumbe was being questioned. I think you all saw this on TV stations. He was not allowed to enter the court when Omu Singa was being questioned. This is one of the evidence which shows that all this was attached on the political issues. He was stopped at the gate by the police. This is one of the evidence or sign which shows that you were the immediate cause for the Museven's decision to attack Omusinga's palace. My fellow Bakonzo were killed due to, due to political hatred or factors. They were innocent. They did not deserve to die. Dr. Besky, you must unite with other opposition leaders in order to let the souls of the dead rest in peace. If you don't unite, that will mean you do cooperate with Mr. Museveni and you have always been tweaking or playing games around us. We Bakonzo, we have never had any intention of separating away from Uganda. We don't know Yira State. That was created by General Kaihura and the staff who said about that. Luanzo Nathan Strongman is my name. I thank you so much. Haba Kaingo, Robo Singawai. For God and my kingdom.